Like the title suggests, this will be the unboxing of the Seagate 120GB Free Agent Go. Um, I picked up, I didn't even plan on picking, um, picking it up, but I saw it on a website and it's actually going for $30 on um, Seagate's website. They're switching over to the, you know, more aluminum friendly, um, more design in mind, even Mac friendlier drives. And um, I just picked, it up, picked this up for $30 at their outlet store. Brand new, and it's plastic and everything, and um, I'm really happy about it. Um, it's only 120 gigs, but um, for the quality you get and the five year warranty, I think it's totally worth it. Just to, you know, leave files on it, keep it as a just in case drive. I have my two Western Digitals, but this will be really nice to have, and I really like it. It's um, really impressive compared to my Western Digital. It's nice to see the different brands. And um, before I do this unboxing, I want someone who just wants to say hello. Say hi. Hi, what's up, guys, Kansas viewers? All right. That is I Talk Apple. She wanted to say hello in this video. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple video. And after I, I'm finished unboxing it, I just do a little comparison for you guys. Any questions you have about it, uh, feel free to ask. I'll definitely respond back. And um, thanks for watching. All right, guys, so here's the box. Uh, free Agent Go Seagate. Uh, the packaging is actually pretty clever. Um, it just says random phrases on the side. And um, I guess they're, it's their attempt to try to be hip. And I was reading the bottom of the box, and it says, Sorry if you're a Mac person, but it won't work unless you reformat it. So, um, I, th I think they're trying to be Mac friendly, but, you know, a little, a little bit more would be better. But, oh well, it's just a hard drive. Reformat it. It's meant, meant for backing up. And plus, their software doesn't even look that great. Um, Time Machine is pretty decent, or I'm just going to be dragging files onto this. Um, it also comes with a five-year warranty, which is pretty awesome when it comes to external hard drives. I think my Western Digital only has a three-year warranty. So just turning around like this, bottom information, gives you PC and Mac requirements. Um, like I said, 120 gigabytes. Um, side view of it, orange, really classy, I think. And um, yeah, so there's plastic wrap on it. Let's see, there we go. Got the handy dandy blade. Let's cover this plastic here. Uh, let's open this up now. Oh, it's one of those flip lids. Alright, there's a seal. It has to be broken, so I guess I'll cut this open. Don't try this at home, kids. Alright, very easy box. You just slide it open with the Money Mouse box or the Macbook box. Um, this won't take long. I hope not. Very simple. Oh, and tells you about the warranty also. And it just gives, you know, plug and play information. Um, probably won't need that. Now here's the cardboard. I hope it's recyclable. It looks kind of recyclable. It looks kind of cheesy. If they wanted to go for more classier, you know, packaging they could have, but maybe it's recyclable. Right, let's see how we open this up. Do I lift up this side? Alright, these two sides lift up. And you're presented with two silver little pouches. One has, I think has a cable, and one actually has a hard drive. Alright, I think this out. Alright, the rest of the box is empty, nothing in there, so we'll move that to the side. Let's start with the cable. It actually says hello on it, which is kind of weird. Hello to you too, cables. Alright, um, there's two USBs. I believe one is for power and one is for only connectivity, but I think you can only use just the data one. Uh, and then it's a basic mini USB. Just like the Western Digital. And I, I believe it's much longer than the Western Digital too. The Passport. So let's see how long this is. Yeah, pretty long. long definitely longer than the Western Digital one. And the cable is very thick too. Very nice quality. And there's the thing in the middle. Alright. Now here's a drive. It's super light. Wow. Really, really light. It says hello on it again. Open it up. Comes. Oh, wow. All right, so I thought it'd be more of like a matte rubber kind of finish, but it's actually just more of a, a matte plastic. Um, here's the Seagate emblem, which is carved in. These sides, I believe, should be orange. Maybe when you light them up, the sides will turn orange to go along with the uh, logo here. On the side, you have the USB port. Um, it's curved side, and then it falls this way. Um, definitely lighter. 
Um, there's plastic covering the shiny sides right here, but I won't take it off yet. Uh, very light. Um, what can I say else about it? Um, I really like the texture. I was kind of worried about the rubber feeling on this, but it's not. It's just plastic, and it just has a texture to it, a matte texture to it. So no fingerprints. Don't have to worry about that. And it's great compared to the Western Digital because there's, there's no scratching on it. Um, I'm not worried about it. So uh, that pretty much it. Oh, actually, wait. There's also feet on the bottom here, so when you put it on the table, you don't have the risk of, you know, shaking it around. Alright, on to the comparison. So here are the sides, uh, the drives, side by side next to each other. This one is the Seagate, I just unboxed. It's 120 gigabytes, while my Western Digital here, the Passport, is 250 gigabytes. And I just want to show you the size comparison and the finish on both drives, because they're pretty different, but they still pretty much have the same job. Now both of them don't need AC power, which means you don't have to plug them into the wall. It's powered off the USB ports on your computer, um, which is great for traveling. They're definitely much smaller than, you know, desktop drives. And they're meant for portability. They're giant flash drives, pretty much. So um, let's start with the Western Digital here. Now the first thing you can tell, it's super shiny. It has this super glossy finish, and it's a fingerprint magnet. And you can see a scratch magnet. Um, it's pretty much a rectangle with rounded sides, and this side almost wraps around like a book. Um, weighted well, it's 250 gigabytes. The uh, USB port is actually has a little indent for the USB port, maybe to keep the cable in better. And then um, here's the actual logo, and it only comes with a three-year warranty. Let me show this again. And the cable that comes with it, I must say, is super short. I'm not sure how you compare that, but it doesn't even loop around itself once. But um, I guess it's a good thing, so it won't tangle up. And um, yeah. So onto the Seagate. Um, Seagate, on the other hand, if you can tell by the light, um, is a matte finish. It's not rubber, it's plastic with this really nice texture finish. So you don't see as many fingerprints. It's difficult to scratch. Um, also, like the Passport, it's almost shaped like a book, but instead of going curving around, it kind of flats off and slides downwards. But this other side has that, you know, rounded edge. Um, on the side, I believe, once it lights up, I'll have orange accents, and which will go really nicely with the brown and the orange emblem. It definitely weighs less than the Western Digital, but this is half the capacity of this. This is 120 gigabytes. Um, moving to the side here, this is the USB port. Unlike the uh, Passport, there's no indent for it, so probably it's a little easier to take out the USB out of the um, Seagate rather than the Western Digital. But let me just show you a little size comparison. Here is the Passport on top of the Seagate. Um, pretty much the same thickness, um, but you can definitely tell for the design aspects of it, the Seagate is a little wider. I think it's just for design purposes. And it's really nice actually. It looks like a paperback book. Um, it's not light, but it's not heavy. Really just a nice size. But I must say that the Passport is nicer to hold in hand just because of the curved edges. While this is a little bit more awkward because that's sloping. Um, but I definitely prefer the matte finish on this hard drive rather than this. I hate how greasy it gets and no matter how much I try to clean it, it won't get cleaner. It's like my iPhone screen. No matter what I do to it, it still looks pretty dirty. Um, but this on the other hand, I really love the coating on it. The design they did in it with the orange and the brown is so nice. Definitely um, a nice change from just the normal black. And I even think the logo looks so much cooler too compared to the brown. Uh, that's Pretty much it on the comparison. Thanks for watching my unboxing.